Ayan nga. No other than Ricky Calderon. <laughs> 40, 36 lang. I have to ano, ah, tell you a story about Ricky Calderon. Why he is also <coughs> ano ba to? Importante sa karir ko. Kasi front act ko noon ni Dingdong Avanzado. This was probably 1987. And he wrote a wonderful write-up about me. May front act lang ako noon. <laughs> hindi ko siya talaga kinalimutan. So, ayan. First time ko na. namin na panahon to perform. Correct. Ikaw yata yun at si Tony Corasa, kayong dalawa. Naalala ko. Anyway, sa lahat ng mga, sa lahat ng mga songs na nakumpose mo, Ovi, alin ang pinaka-special? Kailangan isa lahat. Wow. Special. Siguro yung kailangan kita. Kasi that was a big movie. With Aga and Claudine. It was uh, my first star cinema theme song. You know? Um, it's probably my best work. Sa akin, that's just me. You know? um, I also write inspirational songs. Um, but kung inspirational songs ang tatakun naman, there's one song that I like. It's called The Lord is My Savior. Kinakanta namin yun ng mag-asawa, which I will be singing also in the concert. So it's kailang kita pagka-secular, pero The Lord is My Savior pagka-inspirational song. Uh, what do you look forward to working with Paolo Valenciano sa director? Well, I've worked with him many, many times. Um, I don't look forward to him calling me Tito all the time kasi Tito, can you do this? Tito, pero ako yung inuutusan. Alam mo yan. Uh, Paolo is brilliant. He's pasipag. He's uh, madaling kausap. But he demands and uh, gusto niya ganito. Meron siyang vision. And um, he really wanted to do this. This concert of mine. You know, so sabi ko, sige. Gawin natin. Um, natutuwa ako na, and of course, dahil, siyempre, ngayon si Paolo at, at the Valencianos, you know what happened to Gary, di ba? So, now they have this renewed strength in the family and I'm sure ganadong-ganado yung magtrabaho. So, and I, praise God, you know, Gary is, is well and is, uh, you know, very healthy. So, I'm sure Paolo is at peace with that. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, Our next question will come from Jessica Taliwayan of Manila Bulletin Online. Hello. Hi, sir. Congratulations Hi. Po for your 30th anniversary. Thank you very much. I just have two questions. Po. Sure. First is, um, Leila is um, now going into yes. the music industry. Yes. Ano po ba yung mga advice na binigay niyo sa kanya before and now she's into the industry? Advice na binigay niyo sa kanya. What, what's the other question? And the second po is, paano nyo binabalance? Kasi so, sobrang yeah. busy nyo, everyday yes. may show kayo. Paano yes. nyo po binabalance yung pagiging um, isang celebrity and being father to your family? Okay. Yung una, uh, ang lahat kong sinasabi sa anak ko, anak, lagi kang uh, maaga. Okay? Pangalawa anak, lagi kang po at opo. You always smile, never complain. At natutuwa naman ako kasi yun ang sinasabi ng mga tao dito that they enjoy working with her that she doesn't carry herself as she, she, she's an alkacid or anything like that. No? Remain humble, that's always what I tell her. And work hard. You know? um, paano ko na mag-balance? Uh, may araw kasi kaming kami lang eh. You know? Which is uh, usually on a Sunday. Uh, mag, mag so service kami, sa church kami, nagkakain kami sa labas. And then every time, every so often, kaming lahat, yung pinupunta namin yung balisin, lagi kami nandun. Uh, kami lang, kami lang yun. So, pero every day, ayun, meron akong time, pupunta ako sa kwarto ng panganay ko. Nakausapin ko kung may issue sa mga boys o kung ano man, kailangan, kailangan namin klaruhin yun, hindi ko or kung ano mang issue niya, kailangan pag-usapan namin. Kinate, kanun din. <laughs> Sinate kasi parang 45 na eh. <laughs> and of course, with my wife. Um, but I need to have more time with my wife. I really need to have more time. Naalala ko nung, nung birthday niya, which was this April 22. 
binook ko yung uh, Shangri Labora kay months ahead only to find out na April 26 which was just the day that we were going to leave the island masasara yung island but which was good kasi we enjoyed it we enjoyed the island at nakamikami lang yung land doon and masarap i think we need more time like that so medyo pinagsasabihan na niya ako kasi nakita niya na eto nagkasakit pa nga ako twice diba and then sabi niya you hindi ka naman kasi bukod sa nag-shooting ako na taping meron pa kami we went to Hawaii I had to go to Japan and then um, I had to visit my daughter sa Australia diba sabi niya hindi ko alam na yung mga out of the country okay na yung magbisita ka sa anak ko pero kasi pahinga naman yun So yun, yun nakikinig na rin ako. So, yes, <laughs> fully booked. It is, it is. Gan- ganito pala rito sa ABS-CBN. <laughs> so, kapagod. <laughs> Pero masaya. Oh. Ito, uh, kunento niya kanina na naabutan ka daw niya sa UP. No other than, <laughs> mommy job on this all. Hindi naabutan kita nung pumapasok ko sa college namin. Tapos nagkakagulo sa Edo. Ah. Oh, hindi ko matandaan bakit ka nandoon kasi alam ko doon ka nga sa ano, sa Masto. Oh. Siguro um kasi minsan naiimbitahan ako ng pumanta hmm. or or maging part ng project na kumain. Oh, well, anyway, my question is, you are celebrating your 30 years. Yes. If you are to describe in three adjectives, the first decade to the third, ano yung tatlong adjectives? One is blessed. Two is um, it's been amazing, amazing, and number three, siguro it's parang hindi ko experience parang wala pa ng thirty, di ba? It's fast. It was fast. It just went by. So, hindi mo nararamdaman na pang 30th na pala. <laughs> hindi. Y- yun yung pinaka-end ng decade. No? <laughs> hindi. Um, sabi ko nga sa asawa ko, you know, you know it's funny, I think our brain really never gets old. I totally agree. Diba? Our brain never really, except for the fact that sometimes we forget things. Except for that. But our brain never thinks we're old until our bodies wala pa kay siguro 40 but you know it's feeling other things <laughs> diba may mga ari ko ari ko yung ganyan you know when I play basketball may ari ko rin yun so the body responds so differently from the from, from the brain so in my mind parang kakastart ko pa lang talaga eh tsaka uh, in your 30 years what genre of music are you not aware of na you would still like to explore? Yung yeah. mga underground, yung mga... Ano yung mga yeah. kanta na medyo, ay, parang hindi ko pa na nagigets to. Tapos you, uh, you, <coughs> you ask and consult with other, yeah. other musicians pa paano ko ma, ma-appreciate to. Because you're, you're, you're one icon everyone looks up to. Oh, thank you. I love country music. Okay. Maraming hindi na ibigyan yung music. Maraming nababaduyan sa country music. But country music is something that is close to my heart because that's how we are as Filipinos. We're very emotional. And if you listen to a lot of country music, it's about that. It's about simple love. It's about... Um, I would love to, to, to get into that. Um, I haven't really done a lot of English songwriting which I want to. Lagi na lang Tagalog ang ginagawa ko. But I do write in English. Um, as far as genre is concerned, ayoko masyadong mag-experiment doon kasi may, may mga genre talagang hindi, hindi ako bagay. Hindi, hindi, I wasn't made for that. So, but more of uh, the vernacular. I really want to write more in English um, and try it out. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Actually, yung isang adjective kay Sir Augie is unstoppable. Wow! Grabe, parang 
Derek Robinson. <laughs> How we did? We are down to our last three questions. Yes, yes. Eto yung speaking of age. Eto nakakaramdam na siya nang well, iba kundi si Alan something. Alam mo ang ganda ng intro sa iyo. Ang ganda ng iba sa akin hindi. So, hindi nakakaramdam na siya ng age niya. Kasi parang nasabi nyo kanina na eh, matagal nyo nang hindi nakikita kumakanta si Vice. Yes. Diba? Pero, 